Here he is. Like Max and Cookie. Get on in here. He's a skinny male. He's long. He's long, but he's just skinny. So I'm fishing a singles tournament out on Lake Max and Cookie, and the smallmouth bass are bedding. Largemouth, some are too in the channels, but the water out here is very murky. It's the murkiest I've ever seen fish on Lake Max and Cookie. Or the murkiest water I've ever seen on Lake Max and Cookie. And man, I had to use my perspective boat of my Garmin to find this bed and fish on it. And I backed up, threw a drop shot at him, and there's fish number one for the day. Let's see how we can do. We got 20 top notch anglers out here. We'll see if we can't show them how it's done. Ha, ha. I think I got myself a keeper largemouth here. Fan casting. Yeah! He's not one I want to weigh in, but caught him on a, just a butcher's finesse worm. Or actually, it's a magnet trick worm, I think is what they call him. Fan cast into a rock pile, and boom, fish number two. So I just found a smallmouth on a bed. He doesn't look like a big one, but here's my setup quarter ounce drop shot weight, one out uh, owner octopus hook. I got eight pound fluorocarbon with uh, attached to 10 pound braid with a double uni knot putting on a pro point fishing lures out of california um oh mini bug and i'm gonna catch you right now put on my polarized glasses i did drop the talons that fish is a little bit behind us i'm polarized glasses very important i'm gonna use my hood to even block out more sun coming into my eyes so i can see that fish bite looking at it He's swimming circles around it right now, so he's very agitated. My second choice, because he's not, he's, he's upset, he's looking at it right now, but my second choice would be a dance Ned, which is a Ned rig bait, but with a little tail on it, made by Butcher's Baits. I ain't sure he's gonna keep, eh, I think he's a legal keeper, but Maybe you noticed, maybe you didn't. What I did there, he keep hooked right where he's supposed to be. My dancing Ned. He, uh, I had my talons down, and he was he's really spooky. So I lifted the talons. I think maybe because of they were grinding on the rocks. As soon as I did that, I, I did hit my spot lock, so I wouldn't move. Wind's coming this direction, so I figured I'd turn this direction a little bit, and he was instantly, instantly sitting down in that bed and bit it. show you what happened. Here he is. So that's the disappointment. What happened? This is all my fault. I lost my weight. He ate it. I, I had my drag set pretty weak from the last fish I caught. And I never set, never tightened it back up. So when I set, had to set the hook, I just didn't have good hook penetration. Ah, we got these. I don't know. Two something. That's it. Woo. 
these are not giant fish if you're down there in Lake Fork in Texas or what have you. But on Lake Maxicucky right now, this is not a bad fish. I'm guessing two and a half. He's very, very stout for a bed fish. I've worked him for probably 25 minutes with a host of different baits. He's swirling, going back and forth, not staying on the bed. And eventually he kind of got to the point where he's getting his, his zone. It's getting closer. He's, he's tolerating more, getting closer. And then finally, Finally, you just, you read that mood, you get closer, it stay more put, stay put, you want to shake it in front of the face, I probably cast a hundred times, and finally, he's a victim to the hundred fish. I am in two foot of water, the water temp is 67.9 degrees, uh, and, and I know a lot of guys think the fish are out deep, and I'm certainly there are some fish out deep, but there are some fish up shallow too. Uh, enough to win a tournament? I don't know, but I got over four hours left to call up. Interesting. I came through this area this morning, caught one in this area. Coming through again now, and this guy was set up, ready to, ready to be caught. So I think this fish came up. Look at his tail. There's really nothing on it. No uh, signs of really rubbing. So I think uh, we got fish coming up. There's a full moon last night, and I think fish, fish will continue to come up throughout the day. I swear I saw a bigger one. This fish still might help. He's not a giant, but I do think he calls out one of my smallest. <laughs> this little large mouth in this morning, finally getting replaced. Good luck, buddy. There it is. Oh, don't you do that. I think they just keep coming up. They just keep coming up, coming up, and too bad we don't have like a 10 hour tournament here because I think this would be a total blast. See what I'm doing, I, I'm throwing out, I don't know if you can see my marker buoy. I just throw, I'm, I'm old school. I'll throw that thing out there and usually throw it like two or three feet behind it or maybe five, make a mental note, line the boat up, and then just cast, cast, cast until, until they fall victim to the hunter fish, man. Tons of fun, tons of fun. Just not gonna help me in a tournament, but boy, oh boy, am I having tons of fun. These fish are coming up as the day is progressing. I love swimming up fast. Oh, my fish came out shallow. I mean, I had a great time bed fishing, especially it got better as the afternoon went on. Uh, more and more fish were coming up. Water was unusually dark and murky out here. A lot of algae floating around. It's made it a lot tougher than usual. Still caught a quality fish. And there's only one thing left to do. That's a good way of it. You know, that, that one fish would come unbuttoned. Mm, I think that's gonna come back to haunt me. What a stupid move I made by not tightening my drag back up. It's just the little things, little mistakes that cost you. And I got no one to blame but myself, and it's also what separates the men from the boys. Just smile, look handsome. You know how 
how good 12 pounds is today. Yeah. Right? Total weight. All right, I'll use this. 12.83 pounds. 12.83. Mike? I'm getting a little tired of doing this with you. You spoiled my fairly good day. Out yeah. there at Duke's Bridge it was a horrible day for me. And all right, so I talked to you. But now I have a decent day and oh, blew me up. Yeah. Outstanding job Thanks again. for welcoming me to your home lake. That's <laughs> Much appreciated. Oh, man. I talked a little trash to him online, uh, <laughs> social media. Yeah, backfired. Hey, our links to our social media will be down there below. So give us a like. Give us a like. Uh, actually, give me more likes. By the way, what I will point out that when I posted your win last time in mm -hmm. Duke's Bridge, I actually got more likes posting his win than he got posting his own win. Just, just not that way. Anybody's keeping track of stuff like it that. It pays but. to know good, you know, pays to know the right people, yeah. I guess. Right. All right. Anyhow, anyhow. Well, 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 I figured we did some similar things. Y'all saw what I did, but Mike, I do know you did something a little bit different, and that was depth. And I, you saw it. I caught most of my fish two to three foot deep. You were a little bit deeper. Yeah. Yes, yeah, goods. Yeah, so uh, I got out here yesterday morning on Lake Max and Cucky with no prior experience really, and I idled around basically the whole lake. Uh, every single flat, every hump, I idled around, and there were like three areas of the lake, and I think I weighed fish off all three today that were just littered with beds. Like it almost was like a bluegill bed situation where they were all like 10 feet apart. Um, and I kind of, I caught a few yesterday just to kind of sample the size, and there was one patch that was. I uh, definitely had bigger fish than the rest, and I don't know, man. I just kind of cycled around. And Now, for those who don't really know how to do that, how do you go around the lake? I mean, you were out here for how many hours? Oh, uh, like six. Six yep. hours. How do you go around a lake looking for beds? You say they're littered. Yeah. How'd you see them? I mean, the, I, I complain all day long about the water clarity, hey. so how'd you see them? Yeah, so uh, definitely can't see at all, uh, but I use my hummingbirds my mega side imaging to find the beds, which this tournament was honestly like a Northern Michigan tournament in the making. Like all the time I've spent doing that up there, this was really like the first time locally. I'm like, oh my God, it's really come into my into my wheelhouse. So uh, yeah, I idled around forever. I marked with my side imaging, I would scroll over and mark on the beds and whatnot. And then later in the day yesterday for about two hours, I just kind of went back just to see that what I was seeing was true. And yeah, I mean, it was, it was easy to catch them. I'm not gonna lie, but again, you couldn't see them, so the use of live scope was paramount. Um, I never saw a fish that I caught, and I probably, I mean, without a doubt, I caught at least 60 keeper fish. I never saw one that I caught, but I also caught every single one off of a bed, so it was a pretty yeah, pretty interesting day. Yep. yep. You gonna give us the ditty on uh, what you caught them with? Yeah, I mean, it was, a, it was a drop shot and a Ned Rig for me. Um, what was weird about these fish, I caught a lot of them on a drop shot, but a lot of times they would actually pick up the weight and run off with it, and I don't know if you had any of that. It was weird. Um, you could seriously feel it. Like, they would swim off, and you'd go to set the hook, and you'd have nothing. So then I would pick up the uh, Bite Me Tackle jackpot head, and that's with a cut-down hula stick. Um, just something I've always thrown for bed fish. And the other thing was I used a lot of natural colors today because it didn't really matter. I mean, I usually use chartreuse and pink and stuff like that, but I couldn't see anyway. So I ended up using a lot of natural colors and I caught it. I mean, honestly, the bait didn't really matter. Um, the Ned Rig was just kind of my mop up bait in case I couldn't catch them on a drop shot. You were literally, you were sight fishing, but you were sight fishing on your, your face, forward facing sonar. Correct. All day. So yep. you're seeing your fish on there. Yep. And that's bite me tackle jackpot. Yes, sir. And the Quarter ounce. Gonna be happy. I don't know. You follow me, you know I got a thing. I got a fetish for jack for <laughs> jackpots as well. Uh, I got a promo code. Save you some money on those down below. So down below, you'll see that promo code. But you also see promo codes for other other products. Well, Mega Wear, Keel Guard, and Pro Point Fishing Lures, and straight up mounts. And I'm forgetting somebody. But anyhow, so you spent eight hours just moving around, catching mm -hmm. fish out there. Mike, congratulations again. Thank you. Definitely got a lead in the points. I thought I'd catch you a little bit today, but nope. No, no, you had a good day, that. man. This lake, it's there's so many fish the same size. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I didn't know that until this week, but I know that now. There are so many fish between 114 and 23. It is absurd. Um, so really, like I had one that was just under three pounds, and I did catch that fish yesterday too. Um, just under three pounds. That was a key one. And then with like 40 minutes left, I caught a 213 or a 214 that called out a 26. So, you know. Could have been, could have been the one for sure. They did been. it. Could have mm -hmm. been that one. Yep. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Till next time, we'll see you underwater.